In this question, a clinical scenario is given in which a 30 year old female patient is presenting with a bluish black discoloration of the sclera and pinna since 4 months. Her urine turns black on standing. So, this is the characteristic finding you have to note here. The patient's urine turns black upon standing. Therefore, this is a typical presentation which reminds us of the condition called as alcaptonuria. So, in alcaptonuria, there is going to be an enzyme deficiency which is involved in the tyrosine metabolism. And the question that is asked here is which of the following enzymes is most likely to be deficient. So, which enzyme deficiency results in alcaptonuria. For that, let us look into the metabolic pathway of tyrosine. The tyrosine gets converted into parahydroxyphenylpyruvate which further gets converted into homogentisate and then 4-melyl acetoacetate. The enzyme that is involved in conversion of homogentisic acid into 4-melyl acetoacetate is deficient that enzyme is homogentisic acid oxidase and this is going to result in a condition called as alcaptonuria. Okay. So, the enzyme deficient is homogentisate oxidase. What happens now? So, the enzyme is not there. Therefore, the homogentisate cannot be further metabolized. Rather, it gets accumulated in the body. So, this homogentisic acid gets oxidized to benzoquinone acetate. So, this benzoquinone acetate polymerizes forming alcaptone bodies. Okay, so this alcaptone, it is nothing but a brown black pigment. Okay, so it is because of this pigment that you can see the urine turns black upon standing because when you collect a urine, you have increased amount of homogentisic acid in this. So upon standing, this homogentisic acid gets oxidized resulting in alcaptone bodies. So this alcaptone bodies, which is a brown black pigment, is what is reflected in the urine as blackening. Similarly, the alcaptone bodies, if it gets accumulated in or if it gets deposited in any other parts of the body, such as in the cartilages or in any of the connective tissues of the body, then such condition is called as ochranosis. Okay. So, here in the second picture, you can see that in the intervertebral discs of the vertebra, you can see that the alcaptone bodies that is a brown black pigments are deposited and therefore this is the presentation in alcaptonuria because of the alcaptone bodies. Whereas the first picture you can see it, it shows the blackening of urine upon standing. So within the first 15 minutes you can see that the top layer of the urine starts turning into brown black color because the homogentisic acid is getting converted into oxidized into alcaptone bodies. Whereas, after 2 hours, you can see that the entire urine turned black on standing. Therefore, this is the typical presentation and it is because of the presence of alcaptone bodies. Okay. So, now we know which of the enzyme is deficient. It is the homogentisate oxidase which is option 2. So, what about the other options? The first option says phenylalanin hydroxylase. So, as I have told in this metabolic pathway, the tyrosine, the precursor of tyrosine is going to be phenylalanine and this hydroxylation of phenylalanine is catalyzed by an enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase and if this enzyme is deficient, it is going to result in a condition called as phenylketonuria. So, in phenylketonuria, the classical finding or the presentation is going to be presence of mousy order in the urine. Okay, you will experience a mousy order in the urine. So, that is the typical presentation or the finding in phenylketonuria. Therefore, the first option speaks about phenylketonuria, not alcaptonuria. And the third option, if you see tryptophan pyrolase. So, this is an enzyme involved in the type tryptophan metabolism. That is the tryptophan as it enters into the kind urinin pathway, which is involved in synthesis of niacin. Okay, the first enzyme that is involved in this pathway is tryptophan pyrolase and if this enzyme is deficient, it is going to result in niacin deficiency leading to pellagra. Okay, so it is completely a different entity involving tryptophan. The last 
enzyme that is the fourth option says alpha keto acid decarboxylase complex so it is an enzyme which is involved in the branched chain amino acid metabolism so what are the various branch chain amino acids they are valin leucine and isoleucine okay so in the metabolism of these branch chain amino acids in the second step there occurs a reaction that is a dehydrogenase plays a role okay alpha keto acid decarboxylase or dehydrogenase catalyzes the second reaction and here if this enzyme is going to be deficient it is going to result in a condition what you call as maple syrup urine disease or maple syrup urine disorder which you call it as msud okay so here you can find a maple syrup order in the urine and that is a typical finding in case of maple syrup urine disorder and in which the alpha keto acid decarboxylase enzyme is deficient and it is something to deal with the metabolic pathway of branch chain amino acids therefore here we are talking about alkaptonuria in the clinical scenario and the enzyme that is deficient in alkaptonuria is homogentisate oxidase because of which the patient is having a bluish black discoloration in the sclera and pinna because of the alkaptone bodies and the urine also turns black because of the formation of alkaptone bodies and here you have to see that it is an autosomally recessive condition and the, play, the patient will manifest these presentations usually during third and fourth decade. Here it is 30 year old female therefore it is manifested mostly in third and fourth decade. So here the right option the enzyme that is deficient is homogentisate oxidase.